Good day everyone! Welcome to this class. This is Teacher Giselle, your English teacher for the school year 2021-2022. Now, as we start with our lesson this week, I want you all to carefully listen and pay attention. Friendly reminder, this video is for educational purposes only. Posting it in any social media platform is prohibited. Kung sa classroom may batas at sa bahay may batas, in this subject, we will also have our rules and regulations. And I'm expecting all of you to listen and, of course, follow. These are the general rules in this subject. Number one, do not copy anything from the internet. If I caught you doing so, I will automatically give you minus points in every output. Number two, please use intermediate paper in answering your activities, especially your writing activities. Number three, always write in a cursive manner. Please, you are already high school students. And number four, Deadline will be announced at the end of every video, so make sure to pass it on time. Late outputs will be given minus points. I hope it's clear and everyone will follow the rules. For this week's lesson, we will be talking about Lesson 2, God's Creation of the World. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to first read words, phrases, clauses, and sentences with the correct production of vowel and consonant sounds. Use context clues to determine the meaning of unfamiliar words from the material listened to. Distinguish the features of colloquial language and slang. And the last one, use simple present tense of the verb in a sentence. Are you ready, students? Let's all explore the world of English. At this moment, let us learn the correct pronunciation of some critical vowel and consonant sound. I will going to read the word first and you have to follow afterwards, okay? In Beginning It Fish His The There That Gathered, deep, evening, appear, cease, creatures, earth, path, thankful, thousands. Very good. Let's proceed. Let's go over with our phrases. In the beginning, heavens and earth, let there be light, correct path, fish of the sea, surface of the deep, very good. Let's proceed to our sentences. Number one, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Number two, let there be light. Number three, darkness was over the surface of the deep. Number four, and there was evening and there was morning. Number five, let them rule over the fish of the sea. All right, thank you so much. 
Now let's proceed to your reading assignment. You are about to read a folk tale on the creation of the earth according to the Tausugs. The Tausug is an ethnic group who lives primarily in the Sulu archipelago, southwest of the island of Mindanao, mainly in the Holo Island cluster. So the story that you're about to read can be found in your book, page 20. Six. Now, I hope everyone will really read this story kay Tsada Kainin sa class. And this will help you enhance your reading skills and reading comprehension. So, as you read, please read with understanding. Now, let's proceed, class, to our next topic. In English class, there are words that are not part of the standard vocabulary or language nga ginagamit informally. Now, these words are called colloquial or slang. Colloquial or slang are more commonly used in informal speech rather than in writing. When we say slang class, this refers to language that is very informal and most of the time vulgar. Sometimes, slang is used by members of a certain subgroup such as teenagers or ethnic minorities. Slang is divided into four types. We have first, country slang. These are used by those in the rural areas or sub-provinces. Number two, we have urban slang. Kung ang country slang ginagamit sa rural areas class, sa urban slang, these are spoken by those in the city. And gay slang, number three, which is used by lesbians, gays, bisexuals, transsexuals, or kininginatawag na itong LGBTQ community. And the fourth one, common slang, used by almost everybody. Now, you have to remember, class, that every culture and every region has its own slang. Now, let's talk about colloquial. Colloquial class is an informal language. Although colloquial language is not offensively impolite, its use must be avoided in formal situation or formal settings. Colloquialism is an informal expression that should not be used in formal speech or writing, but in a simple informal or familiar everyday conversations. Even if conversations are, infor are informal, colloquial language does not carry any negative meanings. Now, some people might think that colloquial language is not good, but the truth is, it may not just be appropriate for certain types of conversations or situations. Whereas, it is okay to be colloquial and chatty with friends. It is not acceptable and appropriate to use colloquial language in formal essay, especially say in Yuhang school paper or for office or professional work. Now, you have to remember, class, that in using and understanding English colloquialisms, one develops her or his language and communication skills. Understanding and using colloquialism also depend on the level of formality and association with the audience. Colloquialism can also add humor and color to the language. However, class, please remember this. Colloquial language should be minimized in formal language, especially in writing paragraphs, essays, or reports for school or for your work. Pagkahuman mo magskwela. To avoid colloquialism, please be mindful of the following. First, the use of construct, contractions, I'm sorry, such as wasn't, isn't, don't. So, sa atong mga formal writings class, do not use contractions, okay? So, instead of using wasn't, was not, isn't, is not, and don't, do not, okay? Next, use of cliches or expressions. Now, when we say cliches class, these are the words that are commonly Madunga ninyo sa kanang mga storytelling, just like the words once upon a time and kanang phrases nga, and they lived happily ever after. So, those are cliché. 
avoid that one kay informal na siya. And the next one is the use of filler words like well, uh, hmm, that is why kung naatay mga kanabitong oral recitations, mag-study yun para maka-avoid aning mga filler words. Or kanabitong kulbaan mo class, normal ka nang makulbaan, but i-practice na to tong self na dili magamit og mga filler words. Next one is the use of slang like guys for friends and the split infinitives such as he tried to not smoke. Instead, use the phrases he tried not to smoke. Now, the other examples are I've got a lot of things to do which is considered the colloquial one and kung i-balhin nato siya or ato asyang imong formal, I have many things to do. So, kaning colloquial class, as what I've said earlier, okay lang yun kaayon niya siya kung imuhang friends, imuhang ka-istorya, pero kung magsulat na ganit kag mga formal writings, dili yun dapat na magamit o mga colloquial language. Okay, I hope you understand now because we'll proceed to our next topic. Now, let's go over to our next topic, simple present tense. The simple present tense of the verb indicates that an action is present now, today, or relative to the speaker or writer. Kanos aman nato ginagamit class ang simple present tense. Now, let's look at the illustration to understand more kung saan paggamit ang simple present tense. Tense. Now, we have generally true, habits, facts, future timetables, and fixed schedules, future after, for the words when and until. Now, let's discuss first the number one for what is generally true. Ginagamit ang simple present tense sa kanang general nga kanang facts. For example, the sun rises every morning. Kinsa may nag-ingon nga ang sun gagawas kong gabi eh. Di ba wala? Kay buntag yun na siya class. Number two, for habits. For example, Carlos brushes his teeth two times a day. So, asa man din ha ang habit niya? Two times a day. Brushes his teeth two times a day. Number three, for facts. For example, the president lives in Malacanang Palace. Number four, for future timetables. We have here the example, my cousin leaves for Malaysia next week. Now, other examples class to, for you to better understand this one can be found in your book, page 38, okay? Number five for future after, the words when, after, as soon as, and before. And number six for a series of an action. For example, on weekends, or I'm sorry, for on weekdays, I wake up at 6 a.m., comma, take a shower, comma, have my breakfast, comma, fix myself, comma, and go to school. Now, if you are kanang making a sentence without class series of an action, do not forget the comma. Kay most of the time, akong kakabantayan kung magsulat ng sentences kay walay ginagamit nga kama. So, pag series of action gani ang inyo hanghimoon nga sentence, ayaw kalimti ang kama. That indicates the vision of kanang thought niya. Okay? Now, present tense habitual activities are presently signaled by time expression such as the following words. All the time, always, every class, every holiday, every month, every semester, every week, every year, often, rarely, sometimes, and usually. Another point to consider class, that in general, in the third person, or third person, ang imuhang ginagamit sa imong sentence, you should add S or ES to the verb, just like the examples below. The word clean becomes cleans and the word wash becomes washes. Now, the spelling for the verb in the third person differs depending on the ending of that verb. 
Number one, if the verb ends in O, C, H, S, H, S, S, X, or Z, you should add E, S in the third person, just like the words below. The word do becomes does. The word clash become, becomes clashes. Mix, mixes. Watch, watches. Miss, misses. And the word buzz become buzzes. For the verbs that end in consonant plus Y, we remove the Y and add IES, just like the examples below. The word worry becomes worry. So, tangtango ni mo din ha ang Y, pulihan ni mo og IES. The word study becomes studies. The word carry becomes carries. And the word marry becomes marries. And the last one, for verbs that end in a vowel plus Y, we simply add S. Just like the words stay becomes stays, enjoy enjoys, and pay becomes pays. Alright class, I hope nakasabot na tanan because we are down now to our activity. For your activity 1.4, please answer activity 8 to 9 that can be found in your book page 34. And for your activity 1.5, answer activities 12, 13, 14, and 15, pages 40 to 41. Now, I know nga muragdaghan kay na sa tanahon. So, nga niya tong buhaton. For the girls... You only have to answer 1 to 5 and for boys, 6 to 10. For all the activities classes at 12, 13, 14, and 15. Therefore, each of you will have 20 points. Again, for girls, ang inyong ansiran lang is 1 to 5 and for boys, 6 to 10. For a total of 20 points. Okay? Please be reminded that the deadline para sa inyong mga outputs will be on September 27, 2021. Now, if every class na ay mga emergencies and dili makapas, just inform me, okay? I will give um, consideration sa mga dili yud malikayan ng mga panghitabo, okay? And please, lang yud class, as you pass your papers, I want to see this information sa upper left corner of your paper. Ang una nga dapat makita, your name, your grade and section, subject, your subject teacher, and activity number. Now, the activity number, kay naka-indicate na nadaan sa katong activity nga ako ang gihatag sa inyo ha. Okay? Upper left corner of your paper. These five information class nga makita sa inyong paper kay na ay point. So, ang dili mag-follow Walay points. If you have questions and clarifications regarding our topic or wala na sabtan, you can message me from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mondays to Fridays through my Facebook account or you can contact me through my mobile number. And please lang class, if ever mag-message mo sa ako ah, or sa inyong uban nga teachers, please practice this kind of format sa pag-text. This is for you to practice the formality sa pag-message sa inyong mga teacher. Okay? Now, you have to start sa pag-greet, of course. Good morning, good afternoon, teacher Giselle. This is state your name, your grade, and section. And you can ask, I would like to ask kung sa inyong gusto ipangotana or I would like to clarify about this one teacher, about this activity teacher. And pag nag-reply na inyong teacher, mag-respond. Mag-thank you po mo, okay? Again, mag-follow ani nga format kaya para ma-practice ang formality sa pag-message sa inyong mga teachers or even sa inyong mga 
um, transactions puhon-puhon, no? Para ma-practice ang again formality. Thank you so much for watching class. I hope you learned something from our discussion this day. Have a great day ahead. Keep safe. God bless you.